Simply Subscribers. It's your girl Stacy, and we are filming in my brand new home office and I'm so excited. This is the very first video that I am filming here and you guys get to join me. So welcome, welcome, welcome to all of my loyal subscribers and welcome to all the new ones that I've gotten over the last few weeks. I am so excited guys. Keep sharing my videos. Please subscribe to my channel and today's video, we're going to get to it. We are talking about your daily habits for success. I have six of them for you. As you most of you know, I am an author of Secure Success, a proven plan to prospering personally and professionally. It is available on Amazon, Born to Novo, and also Walmart online. So the link to purchase the book will be in the description box below. And yeah, let's get into this video. I know you guys are on my channel because you wanna know how can you become successful? Listen, I have some morning routines that you guys should be doing, or maybe not just in the morning, but you can also do them in the afternoon or the evening, but getting your day started and off on the right foot definitely will help you out. But the very first thing that you should do is to establish a morning routine. So I know I said, things you should do in the morning, but you should have a morning routine. It shouldn't be fly by the seat of your pants. You should know what it is you're gonna do in the morning, whether it's scheduling your day, whether it's getting your morning pick-me-up, which is a cup of coffee or breakfast, maybe it's exercising to get those endorphins going. Something about your day in the morning should be kind of repetitive. It should be something that you do on a regular basis, whether it's journaling or writing gratitude, positive affirmations. All of those things could be part of your morning routine. If you guys do not have one, head on over to my Instagram um, page. And my Instagram handle is at simply underscore Stacy, both with I, simply with an I, and Stacy with an I. And I actually have my morning routine as one of my posts. So you guys can scroll through and find that post, but definitely, in the mornings, I say a quick prayer, I say my gratitude, I get my to-do list together for the day. I have that as my morning routine. And don't forget that cup of tea. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I do give me a nice cup of tea for my caffeine, my pick-me-up so I can get my day started off just right. And I have a green smoothie, which I normally prepare and freeze and take down in the mornings so that when it's time for breakfast or when I get hungry, I definitely go ahead and have my smoothie. So that's my morning routine. Hey, if you guys already have a morning routine, please comment down below and let me know what it is you do in the morning, what's all a part of your morning routine, because I probably could add something to mine. The one thing I know my sister Casey would say is that I need a skincare routine for the mornings and probably for night before bed too, but I am looking into that. So if you guys use... Um, something special. I've heard of Clinique. My mom told me that and my battle buddy Chantel told me to get Clinique. And I know my aunt has been an avid Clinique fan for years. So that's what I think I'm going to go get. I'll probably go to Sephora this weekend and purchase that. But I'll add that to my morning routine. If you guys have any other things to add, put them in the comments down below. Okay, so that was number one we talked about, establishing a morning routine to schedule your day and all that good stuff. Okay, now we're on to number two. Number two, you need to stay focused. And whatever it is on your to-do list, you need to make sure that it is attainable. You don't wanna put 50 things on your to-do list knowing good and well you can't get 50 things done in one day. It just becomes overwhelming. It just adds to anxiety. Listen, if you have a to-do list, then make sure that you know what can get accomplished in a day. Realistic to-do list, not one for the rest of the month. You don't want to put that out there in the atmosphere to just taunt you all day long because they're still unchecked. I don't know if you guys are like me, but if you are, you want to make sure all of those are checked at the end of each day. So what I do is I focus on my top three things that I need to get done. If I have any deadlines and schedules, I prioritize them that way. And I just move them over to the next day if I don't think that they can get accomplished in one day. 
So definitely make sure that you write a to-do list. Make sure it's small enough to get accomplished in just one day. Okay guys, we're moving right along. We're on to number three. The third thing is you want to get out of your comfort zone. If you're going to be successful, you cannot continue to do the exact same things that you've done before where you may not have even been successful. So you have to step out of the box. You have to advance in your career. You have to step out there and learn new skills. You have to step out there and meet new people. That is networking. Simply networking is a chapter in my book. We will definitely talk more about networking. So definitely let me know that in the comments below. Do you wanna hear things about networking? Networking for introverts. How can you best network? How can you get in and out of a networking function in a matter of minutes and still make a great impression on those that you encounter, okay? What are some of the things you should bring to a networking event? All of those things we'll talk about. Do you have business cards? Do you have an elevator pitch? All of those things we'll definitely get to. But stepping outside of your comfort zone, whether it's gaining new skills, whether it's learning new computer systems, whether it's meeting new people, all of these things are going to lead to your success in the end. Okay, number four. So the fourth thing is you want to move your body, you want to be physically fit, you want to eat well. So this is all about self-care. So you want to practice self-care if you're going to be successful. Do you want to know why? Because if you're not your best self, you can't help anyone else. If you're not your best self, you won't be beneficial at work. You won't be on the top of your game at work because you'll be too busy worrying about something. You'll be too busy sick and not at work. You'll be off on leave somewhere on sick leave or a mental health day, which let me let me rewind that. We all need a mental health day. I think you guys should take it whenever you're feeling drained, whenever you're feeling down, and whenever you just need a break, especially during quarantine. I know a lot of us probably feel like we should not take off because we're just working from home. I do not subscribe to that theory. You should take off. If you are overwhelmed, if you are anxiety prone, or if you just really just want to break, you don't want to sign on to the computer today, definitely use your mental health days. And this is me as a supervisor talking. Now, don't get carried away and take off every single day or all the days, you know, but you still need your vacations. You still need um, time to rest your mind so that you can get back on the top of your game. And I am definitely a um, huge huge um, believer in a mental health day. So definitely, definitely take a day. Okay, so there we go again. You're eating right. My book, Secure Success, A Proven Plan to Prospering Personally and Professionally, talks about that personal self-care, which is your mind, your body, your spirit or soul, and your, your finances. So all of that stuff needs to be in order. So you need to be eating right, you need to be physically fit, working out, doing those things that make your heart happy, that makes your health um, improve. You need to be doing those on a regular basis. If you have any prescription medications, you should be sure to take those as prescribed by your doctors. And speaking of doctors, don't skip out on your appointments. If you have regularly scheduled appointments, definitely go see the doctor. If anything has gone wrong, Definitely go see the doctor, go to urgent care. Don't sit there and let it um, fester. Early detection can save most lives. Early detection can help um, many people recover from whatever ails them. Okay, there we have it. That was number four. Now we're on to number five. You want to create a space and time and opportunity to reflect. So if you don't have that in your daily routine, in your weekly routine, make time to just reflect. Time without social media, time without your phone ringing, time without the television, time to yourself to reflect. To reflect on all things, to reflect on what has gone right, 
where you can make improvements, lessons learned, and your goals. You want to be able to reflect on all of those things. Successful people definitely reflect, they adjust course, and they keep it pushing. Okay, so the sixth and final thing that we're going to talk about on a daily, something that you can do daily, a daily habit for success. You guys are probably going to get me now is to go to bed early and to wake up early. Now, I'll be honest. Whew, in the last year since we have been in quarantine and working from home, my sleep patterns have been horrible. They have been absolutely horrible. I stay up all night, but I still have to be at work at 6.30 in the morning. So I still get up. So that means I'm not getting enough sleep. I used to make sure that I got at least seven hours of sleep in a night. If I was going into the office, my do not disturb on my phone was set for 10 p.m. I would get in bed, turn off the light and turn off the television so that I'm not distracted. I'd say my prayer and I'd try to go to sleep as quickly as possible. I was also more, not exhausted, but tired. I would go to the gym sometimes. I would be on the move. So I really would be tired probably around 10 o'clock if I didn't fall asleep at nine o'clock on the couch before then. However, since we've been home from quarantine, I have not been on my P's and Q's. I've been staying up, binge watching television, just next episode after next episode on different series on Netflix and HBO Max and every every outlet, right? So I have to do better with that. So I'm not just going to tell you I'm going to do better with that as well. But like I said, I am an early riser, whether it's Saturday, whether it's Friday. Today is my off day Friday and I've been up since six o'clock not working, but I've been creating content and filming videos for you guys. And so even when I'm off, I still get up early because guess what? The early bird catches the worm. This is how I'm going to be successful. I currently have two jobs. I have the job for my personal brand, Simply Stacy, and then I also have my full-time gig. So on the Fridays that I'm off, Saturdays and Sundays, and even sometimes after work, I'm working on Simply Stacy. So if you guys have goals set, getting up early to accomplish them or getting them off your plate so that you can have more time to spend with your family and your friends and even just on things that you just want to do such as watch television or game. I know there are some gamers, but whatever it is that you want to do, if you get it done early, then you're clear for the rest of the day. Isn't that lovely? Who wants to be up at 10 o'clock at night still having things that they need to mark off of their to-do list? Not me. And that's 100% honest. Okay, so we've just covered six daily habits that you guys can incorporate if you already have it to become successful. Okay guys, so we're gonna do a quick recap. Number one was to establish a morning routine. Number two was make your to-do list realistic and small. Make sure that you can accomplish all the tasks on your to-do list in just one day. Okay, number three, Get out of your comfort zone, learn new skills, go to networking events or network wherever you can. You meet somebody, say hi, ask them what they do, tell them what you do. Who knows, you could have a new client or you could have a new business that you support. Number four, move your body and eat right. Practice self-care, mind, body, soul, um, and your finances. That's self-care, guys. We'll talk about that later. Number five, create a space and time in your schedule, in your life, in your week to just reflect. Reflect on positive things. Yeah. Figure out what lessons there were to be learned and adjust course and keep on pushing. And then finally, number six, go to bed early, wake up early. The early bird definitely gets the worm. Make sure that you're out there ahead of the game, ahead of your competition, doing what it takes to get the job done. Because if something happens along the way and you no longer have time to do it, wouldn't it be nice if it was already complete? 
That's my motto. I would like to get things done sooner than later. If I have tasks to do, I get them done way before the deadline. Those are all tips and habits that you can incorporate to make you successful. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I post a new video. Also, share. Please share my videos. I appreciate all of you who have. Welcome to the newcomers and see you next time.